Hey guys, it's M here and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then hello. I go by M, the letter M, not E-M. So hi, nice to meet you and welcome to my channel and I hope that I can help you on your way to becoming just as addicted to The Sims as I am. Um, but to those of you that have been around on my channel for a while now, then you will know that I kind of started this thing called Let's Get to Know. It's like these little let's plays that I've done in the past where I just focused on getting to know the pre-made sims in the town because they get glossed over a lot. A lot of people just kind of just skip over the pre-made sims, but some of them are really funny and have kind of cool built-in backstories, especially in the previous sims installments. Um, some of them had some really crazy drama that was already set up for you at the start so I fully intend to continue doing let's plays like this and they're fairly short so they're really fun to do and I, I hope that in the future I can continue to do lots of towns you know so welcome to let's get to know Oasis Springs uh, I already did a let's get to know um, Willow Creek which is the other town that came with Sims 4 so if you would like to see that there's a playlist on my channel and I'll link it on the screen right in the upper right hand corner now um but yeah we're gonna jump in and we're just gonna kind of get to know the pre-made sims that are in oasis springs and those families there are four four yes four three oh there are four there are four i have my trusty dusty <laughs> sims 4 game guide out with me right now and um i've decided that we're gonna start off with the caliente family um the families are the caliente family the land grabs um then we have johnny zest which is actually um he's from the land grabs he's a disowned son so yeah there's that and then there's the roomies which are close they closely resemble the cast of a new girl if you guys have ever seen that i love that show so freaking much it is so funny if you haven't seen it go watch it now and then come back and watch my video <laughs> or vice versa whatever and then the last family is no that's it that that's it there's four four families and we are going to explore all four and in this let's play I want you guys' help to create some drama and find ways to connect these families together in this town and kind of write our own interwoven story of Oasis Springs. It's the story of Oasis Springs. So your comments are extremely important. If you have some kind of crazy way that you can think of that these families can relate and create drama amongst each other, I want to hear it. I want to know. I want to know. Yeah. So you should comment any ideas or suggestions that you have in the comments down below. But we are going to start with the Calientes. This, this first part is just going to be a little bit of an introduction all about the Calientes. And then in the next part, we will jump into getting to know them. Welcome to the Calientes humble abode. They are so nicely standing out front for us to meet them. They're so excited. They're just excited uh, to meet us as we are to meet them. Um... Yeah, we're gonna have some fun. So, it's no longer girls only now that Caliente matriarch Katrina has moved in her mooching boy toy, Dawn. With three fiery, attractive ladies in the house, will Dawn remain faithful or will he get involved 
with more than one Caliente woman. Woman. Mm. Mm. That is for us to find out. And I just can't wait to find out who the heck will Don end up with. And he looks hella depressed. Like, you live with a house full of women and you are hella depressed. Which actually makes sense because that's just a lot of estrogen and a small amount of testosterone. And it just... I can imagine that the situation can become hostile very quickly. But... You, sir, did this to yourself, you crazy boy toy. Um, and I am playing in the same game that I played Willow Creek. So that means that all the relationships that have been formed when, with my Let's Get to Know Willow Creek Let's Play and the moves that uh, Bella has been putting on Dawn. Yeah. Yeah. So we can, we can also create drama and bring in some old and beloved characters from Willow Creek if we so please. So before we look at the house, let's just, um, since they're all standing out front here, let's go ahead and take a look at who they are and what's going on for them at the moment. So first and foremost, most we have Katrina Caliente. This is Nina and Dina's mother, and she's the one that moved in Don Lothario. I'm sorry you got to pee. I'm really sorry about that. So, yeah, we have Katrina. Right now, she's feeling flirty. She's got on a cute outfit. And um, Katrina, she is a adult. She's adult. She's at the beginning of her adult stage. She's a family-oriented woman. She's romantic, but she's also hot-headed, and she's alluring. So... You know, she, she wants that family and she wants the romance. She wants the typical um, sweep me off my feet love. But, but, but if you make her mad, she's also very hot headed. Her job is um, she's an entertainer level four, I believe. That's what it says in my game guide. Yes. So she's an opening act. So she's working on getting known out there in the entertainment business. And um, her aspiration is soulmate. So, you know, she's a very romantic lady with her vivacious red hair. And her skills, her skills, her skills, her skills. Well, she's built some. Um, but yeah, here's like what her skills look like. She doesn't really have any kind of specialty or anything. She just has low levels in a bunch of different skills. And as for her relationships, we'll see if there's anything interesting. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Her and Dawn are not even, like, romantically together. Like, what's up with this? What's up with this? She hates Leslie Slack. She hates that woman. Don't know why, but she kind of hates her. And she's actually romantically involved with Albert Gagnon, which is her neighbor. And they are lovebirds. So that some pretty interesting plot twists right there um so moving on to miss dina caliente this i think is her eldest daughter they might be the same age i'm not sure she's young adult and she is young adult so they're exactly the same age are they twins no one will ever know okay so we have dina caliente and she is an active woman. She's romantic like her mother, ambitious, and essence of flavor. What's this? Um, Sims with the essence of flavor make higher quality food and drink. So she knows how to cook. She loves being active and playing sports outdoors and stuff. But she's also very romantic and ambitious. She's just an all-around go-getter. She is a go-getter. Ooh. And um, as for her career... She's an assistant dishwasher, which is culinary level one, so not too high up there yet, but don't worry, my friend. We will help you. We will help you out. And then, as for her aspiration, she wants to be a master mixologist, so she's just really into mixology and stuff, and as for her skills, nothing that stands out. Her relationships... What the hell? We got some drama already! <gasps> because this is like, a, this isn't a new save game. Okay, okay, okay. She is romantically involved currently with Jeffrey Landgrab, which might I add has a wife and two kids. I don't even know how many kids this man has. 
Mmm, girl, I see you. And, and he's much older than she is, so. Okay, girl. Okay. Okay, when I said you were a go-getter, I guess I just really meant it. And next we have Nina Caliente, and she is, um, she's hot-headed like her mother, romantic like her mother, but she is lazy and dastardly. So she's like the evil twin, maybe? The evil twin? She's kind of lazy. She's not a go-getter. She's kind of a little bit the opposite of her sister, a little bit, because her sister is, um, athletic and ambitious, and she's just kind of lazy and dastardly. So that's cool. Um, and she's dastardly because her lifetime aspiration is to be the chief of mischief. So she just wants to, like, mess things up. <laughs> she just wants to wreck it. Like, honestly, that's just what she wants. That is what she wants. The heart wants what it wants. And she's unemployed. And she hates Cecilia Park for some reason. They got beef. And. 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 She is romantically involved with Johnny Zest. Or is his name Zest Johnny? Because right here it says Zest Johnny. But I'm very confused. I'm very, very confused. Well, she is romantically involved with Johnny, which my day add is her boyfriend's son. So we got some nice family dynamics going on here. So nobody likes Don. Literally, nobody likes Don. Don, literally, nobody likes you. And speaking of Don, finally, last but not the least, we got Don. Good old Don Lothario, man. He is romantic. He's non-committal. He just cannot commit. He cannot settle down. He's active as well and alluring. And um, he does not have a job. And his lifetime aspiration is a serial romantic. So he just wants to like date around. He just does not want to settle down at all. At all. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's about to pee pee. And, um, his highest level skill is fitness, of course, and as for relationships, he is closest with Bella Goth, remaining from the Willow Creek Let's Play. So, Bella worked really hard <laughs> to try to be with him, and he's pissed a lot of people off, I would assume, probably from, like, making moves on their girlfriends or boyfriends, or I don't even know which way Don swings, I just, I think he just swings a lot and frequently and all over the place so yeah that's what we got going on here and i'm very excited to get to know them more and see what goes down because i feel like we already have some 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 sketchy stuff happening already but yeah let's take a look more into where they live and stuff now um the bio on their actual household says the caliente household is a perfect soap opera with our two favorite sisters dina nina and their mother who has been reimagined as the attractive and vivacious katrina katrina has ignored her better judgment and let the infamous womanizer john don lothario mooch his way into her house and quite possibly her heart Dawn's eyes are on Katrina for now, but how long will it be before Nina and Dina are lured in by his charm? Will Nina decide to steal Dawn away from her mother? Will Dina finally earn enough money to get her own place and get away from all the craziness? All we know is that it won't be long before sparks start flying. Ain't that the truth? Ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't it? And um, they live in like the medium wealth neighborhood. And I have actually filled up all the spots. I've revamped the town for this new Let's Play. So, if you see different houses and stuff, honestly, I probably don't know where they came from because it's been so long. But I know I added this house. So, yeah, they live in, like, the Spanish Villa section part um, in front of this nice little lake here. And I see a golf course back there. It's very, very, very pretty. Here is their house. I love it a lot. I could definitely settle down there. I could. I really could. And um, let's just like go inside and take a look what we got going on here. We have a dining room with a random giraffe for some reason. And we have a kitchen with, of course, a bar because these girls like to party. They like to have their fun. I mean, who could blame them? They just, they enjoy, they have to have their fun. And then we got a hallway, and then over here we got a nice living room area with a piano even. It's really nice. We got a bathroom. This is actually Dawn's bedroom. Way back here, it's like the closet. 
pretty sure that's where he stays. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we've kind of looked at this a little bit before in my Willow Creek series, so... Yeah, I know some of you have might have already seen this, and plus the game has been out for a while, so, you know. Um, and then upstairs, we got a computer that they're always using, because they're addicted to The Sims. They are Sims, and they're addicted to The Sims. Who knows? Like, honestly, people question the meaning of life sometimes, and, like, how do you know that we're not just extremely advanced Sims from, like, Sims 25? Like, what if we are... The Sims in Sims 25 and we're playing Sims 4 like what what it will blow your mind if you think about it too hard <laughs> um, but I want I want to assume that this is Dina's room right here with the yellow because she has blonde hair that's like my only reasoning I guess and then over here is Nina's bedroom and then across is Katrina's so I know that in previous Let's Get to Know series, I remodeled their house. I would be completely willing to do that here. Their house isn't like, like when you go back and play Sims 3 base game and you look at the houses, the houses are so bad. Like you almost want to throw up. And if you like, I swear I might have thrown up in my mouth a few times when I look at houses from the Sims 3 base game because of the tacky creative style and like the... I don't, the patterns and textures, it just, oh my god, like, just, you have to go see what I'm talking about if you don't know, um, but in this game, the houses are decorated nicely, but I will probably just revamp it a little bit, and that might be, like, a separate mini part, like, revamping the Calientes, I don't know, I don't know, I really don't know, I am just not a very polished and organized person, you probably already noticed those. So I don't even gotta tell ya. But yeah, that is their house. And that's kind of all that I wanted to do for this first part. I just wanted to keep it simple and have a little introduction so we can see what's happening around the house here. And um, it's gonna be a good time. It is going to be a good time. So with all of that being said, I just want to remind you guys again that I am going to heavily rely on your comments on what kind of drama and what things that I decide to make happen in this Let's Play because I want to feel like we are writing the story as we go and it's just so much more fun that way when you bring together like my ideas and a whole bunch of other people's ideas in the comments and you put them all together and I think that we can make some really funny and fun stuff happen so I once again any comments or ideas that you have if you have any already I would love to hear them and if you like this if you like my let's get to know thing I want to hear about it it's it's in extremely um, encouraging when people tell me that they like something that I'm doing so if you like it then like it if you love it then maybe subscribe and go check out my other let's get to know series so you'll kind of know what I'm going for here and I just thank you thank you for all your continued support yesterday was Thanksgiving and I just want to let you guys know that I'm so thankful for you eee! and um, I'm really excited for this new let's play so Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Oh, honey, honey, what are you doing? Oh, she's on some sketchy websites. Okay, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!